Welcome to the Wild Axe Solaris. This is the 2014 model based on the Citroen Relay L3H2 which is just under 6 metres in length, 2.05 metres in width and 2.65 metres high. The Solaris is a very unique layout. Wild Axe Motor Homes is the only company to do a true four berth, four adult size sleeping and travelling in a six metre van which gives you all the specification that you get in this one. So let's have a quick look around. You get two full size travel seats and these have fully approved three point seat belt system. You can put uh, children's seats in them and booster seats and they're actually very comfy for uh, adult travelling. The living area turns into a double bed and we'll see that later on. It also turns into a sofa which we'll see later on so you can have a lounging area as well. The floor is a very hard wearing vinyl. It's a virtually indestructible vinyl and you can probably see the glint which is the metal inlaid into it. And you do get a full loose carpet set all round. Now the bit that really sells the Solaris is the very clever bunk system. So you have two six foot bunk beds. Now these bunk beds typically have a curtain. Now this brand new demonstrator has not had the curtain fitted yet but you normally have a curtain that will close this area off so that if you're putting the kids to bed first they can do their own thing, they can sleep and there's uh, uh, you know no interaction with the, the, the people if they're in the front room. Uh, they do have their own lights and the switches in here they can turn the lights on and off so if they're older and they want to have a read then they can do that. There is the rollout bar and there's an optional rollout bar for the bottom bunk should you feel the need for it. There is a bunk bed ladder as well which hooks onto the side and you can remove uh, to just move it out of the way if you need to. Now part of the clever bit about this is that the top bunk folds up out of the way. So you take the rollout bar off and this bunk will literally just fold up out of the way it will fold up against the wall which then gives you a seating area at the back. Uh, so you can probably see if you come round there's a cushion here now that cushion provides a, a backrest for that seat so that if it's horrible weather and the kids want to do their own thing and, and you're not really going outside they can sit back here and play the playstations read the books or whatever they want to do and they're separate from the main area of the van. Whilst we're here the storage area hanging space in the wardrobe and some clever sliding storage. You have the sliding larder and if you have a little look down you'll see there's lots of space in here for uh, your, your food items and there's another big drawer which doubles as a cutlery drawer and everybody does things differently but we suggest a cutlery tray in there is quite handy. Storage. The bottom bunk has a big storage area underneath it. Now it's easily accessed through the side door, through the rear of the van and also this bunk frame lifts up so you can access underneath the bunk that way. Just move your cushion out of the way if you want to get in there for bigger items such as chairs, tables. From the rear door you can put in like your hookup leads and your hoses and your levelling blocks uh, through the, the rear access hatch so it's really uh, a, a nice handy area to get to for storage. You do have storage under the passenger side rear seat here, now that's an empty space so you've got a big area there I and mean, personally when I use the van we stick a, a plastic box in there and put muddy boots and things in because you can do it right by the sliding door which is quite handy. Now, I, I do have two small children and we use the Solaris model quite a lot and we find that the, the flexibility of the layout is what really makes it uh, handy. We'll have a look at the kitchen next. Another area of big positive for the Solaris is the kitchen. You've got nearly a six foot kitchen in the, in the van so in terms of size of van it's a fantastic kitchen. There's very very few motorhomes that will give you a kitchen like this anyway especially in a four berth six metre van. So you've got lots of workspace with extra slide out worktop here for preparation space. You've got the 90 litre three-way fridge and this is the new Thetford digital control three-way fridge. 
you can opt for the 100 litre should you want to. You get a full height cooker with separate oven and grill and storage at the bottom for your pans. Now this one has got the four gas rings. You can opt for an electric ring if you want. And then you've got a really good sized sink and the sink's got a drainer built into the lid and small though it looks it's very handy I've used it a lot you can get your plates in there your bowls in there and uh, you can get your cutlery in so it does work really well storage in the kitchen is also excellent because you've got these storage cupboards here uh, using the tambo doors that we use you get easy access to the storage without bashing yourself in the head and without the ability for these doors to accidentally open while you're driving because you've not pressed the press the catches in properly and the other benefit is this door system is lightweight and quiet Wild Axe motorhomes are designed to be quiet on the move most of the noise in motorhomes if you've got one you'll know comes from cupboard doors rattling these don't make that noise so storage is good kitchen area is good you've got this high quality trim all round which is the, the the gloss wood effect and there is an optional furniture wood as well uh, in a high gloss so you can ask us for more details of that uh, you have your two main sockets here there's another one down here and one in the front of the van so you've got four main sockets you also get a 12 volt socket in the kitchen area as standard too uh, the TV system is an optional item we use the Avtex TV uh, in my opinion only the Avtex is the best brand you can buy for a 12 volt motorhome TV uh, this is the DVD combi uh, this one has um, built in free view it has built in satellite tuner uh, it has inputs for um, USBs and memory cards and things like that uh, brilliant piece of kit the van comes with a digital aerial on the roof and the 12 volt sockets as standard. The optional kit is the TV and the, um, the dual arm bracket so it will fold around into different positions um, and the, obviously the fitting. Towards the back of the van we can have a little look at the washroom. I'll talk to you about it and I'll get out of the way and you can come and have a little look down here. But the washroom is uh, a big wet room. Now I'm six foot two. So you can see the internal height of here. I can stand up in the normal area of the van without, uh, you know, without any trouble whatsoever. I can also do the same in the washroom. I can stand up. Uh, you, you know, the space is a little bit more compact height-wise because of the shower tray, but it's more than enough for people, even of my size, to get in and, and use with ease. You have shower tray, sink and toilet, and there's accessories for, you know, hanging rails and things like that, and the storage cupboard in there. Um, part of the design of the washroom includes our clever door system. The door system in the washroom is timbre door as well. It's a waterproof profile in the washroom which means when you close the door it's all waterproof and the big benefit is there's no shower curtain. If you've ever tried showering in your motorhome or caravan with a shower curtain you know it just sticks to you then suddenly your shower is this big which is horrible. You don't get that in here. So we use the rotating loo. Now this one has got the uh, Thetford CS swivel toilet. Actually the new design, uh, the new uh, Solaris models that are built from now actually have the uh, brand new Dometic porcelain bowl uh, toilet. So uh, just a slight upgrade to what we currently have. Um, I think everything in the washroom is straightforward. We'll swap places, you have a little look in the washroom. Now, one of the positive points about our washroom is the shower tray. You can have a look around at the various areas. The shower tray is built to our design, built in-house. It's a fiberglass, heavy-duty shower tray. So you won't get the problems you get in some motorhomes and caravans where the, uh, the, you, you can develop cracks from uh, use over time. Ours is bonded to a, a, the, the wooden floor, so that's just simply not possible. The whole room's waterproof with an access panel in there to get access to the rear light cluster if you need to change the bulbs. Drop down sink, simple but effective, uh, gives you all the room you need as a sink without taking the room from the van. Okay, we're going to have a little look at the living area now. If you come to me, I can show you how the uh, 
the seating system works. If you want to make up uh, a sofa, very simple method. And don't forget, the seats are our design. They're approved by the British government, tested by the VCA for road use and approved throughout Europe with full European type approval. So you've got the absolute best you can get designed and built by us. So that's how simple it is. Sliding frame flattens down into a slightly longer than four foot sofa. Now, if I get this cushion that's on the, so on the uh, bunk bed, we can move it through and you can see how it fits in. So that now becomes a sofa. So you've got quite a relaxing area. You can put your feet up, you can watch the telly. If you've got nice weather, the doors open uh, and you've got this lounging area. Four of you can sit around here if you want to and watch the telly. For eating, you'll notice that the three holes in the floor. You do get two tables. The tables are stored behind the seats. You have a larger one and a smaller one. They work on the poles. You can use one for drinks or you can use eating. And if you have both of them together in these two holes, it gives you a four person size table. What you can do is slide that seat down and it gives you two sofas so that four of you can easily eat around it. But still we've designed them so that they're not too wide so you can access through to the kitchen to get your food and stuff like that and your drinks from the fridge more importantly. So, the bed. This double bed at the front, very, very easy to do. Simply slide this one down as well. Now I personally have both seats rotated facing forwards when I do it because it gives you a little bit of extra space. This cushion then, this has got a rigid back on it and all you do is simply drop it in the middle that sits on these edges here there's a frame here which you can keep anywhere in the van but up there is easy it's out of the way that just hangs between the runners at the front and it provides support at that end so to make up the double bed in the front takes literally 20 seconds when you've practiced it it's dead easy uh, and actually then you're ready to sleep because I tend to use uh, quilts rather than sleeping bags. So we have the sheet with the quilts and we just fold it all together with the pillows and push it up here out of the way. And when we're ready to sleep you can put it down it's already there just unfold it and you're good to go. So we can be from lounging to sleeping in under a minute if need be so it's, it's nice and easy to do. Underneath the seat here you can have a little look in the storage area. It's got a few things of ours in here. Uh, you do get the tripod foot for the table's legs so you can use them outside. Uh, this one's got a few items for the demonstrator van, um, expandable hoses and, and things like that, tie down kits for the awning. So there you have it. Sleeping for four, traveling for four, comfy seating for four and eating and dining area for four. You have big bunk beds at the back a six foot two, this is six foot two double at the front. I've slept lots of nights in here. I am six foot two and I've found it to be really comfy. Yeah, I sleep slightly angled, gives me more than enough length that I need. Um, let's talk about the van at the front now. So you go back slightly, I'll move this cushion out of the way. Okay. Both the driving seats are on rotating bases, so you can turn these around very, very quickly and easy so that you're ready for driving. The vehicle is the Citroen Relay. It's 2.2 litre, 130 brake horsepower, six speed manual. The new van, which this is, a, we're now on the 16th of July today, in about a week we take delivery of the first of our new shape relays. Uh, they've got a new external look with the uh, new headlights, slightly different dashboard because they have a digital DAB stereo, an upgraded spec, they've included things like electronic stability control and various things like that. Um, but all that being said, this model to the next model, very little difference in all the figures. You have the same power, 130 brake horsepower, uh, 
yeah, the same driving style because everything in the van really is, is, is the same. So they drive very, very much like a car. The gear stick being up here next to the steering wheel makes it really, really nice to drive because it's all very intuitive. It's all very next to each other. The gear stick and the pedals are all very light. So the design is specifically done that way so that it's like driving a car. Fuel efficiency is very good. I've got customers reporting over 40 miles per gallon to these, uh, albeit you've got to take it very carefully, but over 35 is actually quite easy to do. Uh, a tank of fuel in this, which is diesel, will last you 650 miles. So you have a really nice vehicle uh, which is fuel efficient, uh, cheap to insure, and I'll talk about that later on. Um, the rest of the spec that you get as standard, you get both airbags, electric everything, electric windows and mirrors. You get the digital DAB stereo, which has got a touch screen on the new one. You get air conditioning as standard. You get, and you can see in the corner there, uh, the satellite navigation screen. So you get satellite navigation system as standard. Built into that system, it's a Traffic Master product, including satellite navigation, you get stolen vehicle tracking. So that's all built in with a three year usage of the sat nav and tracking system included with the price of the vehicle. Um, the Citroen Relay is, uh, uh, it's got a remote central locking so you get the remote key so it's dead easy to operate. Uh, they don't come with an alarm system as standard but we can fit category one alarm systems because some insurance companies make it a condition that if your vehicle's over a certain value category one alarm systems are necessary. We can fit any of the optional items. Don't forget when you order a motorhome from us, you're going to choose it. It's going to be specific to your styling and your colour schemes. So you'll choose the colour of the outside vehicle. You'll choose the upholstery. This colour scheme, which is called smoke, is one of our standards. This is the standard pattern. We also have a plane, which is half leatherette, half fabric. Uh, those are our two standards. 90% um, of our customers choose those. If they're not right for you, not a problem. We can put you in touch with our upholstery company and you can choose a one-off. You choose all to do with the spec of the vehicle. If you want cruise control, we can do it. If you want electric folding mirrors, we can do it. So you can have anything you want from the spec of the vehicle. In addition to the motorhome, very, very common additional extras are solar panels, wind-out awning, bike racks, tow bars, alloy wheels. All that is easy to do. So when we take an order, we sit down, we talk about the spec and we find out what's best for you to do with your hobbies, to do with the way you're going to use the van. Do you need a solar panel? Do you need a second leisure battery? Are you going to make use of a bike rack and an awning? Do you know, are you the kind of people that have TVs? So some people do, some people don't. So the, the van is personalised to you. That's about it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you would like further information, it's www.wildaxemotorhomes.com. Thank you.